This example uses the Universal Scan Demo Board. That board has three PLDs on it in the JTAG chain. One is a Xilinx 9536, the second one is a Lattice 2032, and the third one is an Altera 3032. The Xilinx is driving a seven segment display on the board. The Lattice and the Altera are blank. We've connected eight discrete LEDs to the Lattice, which we're going to monitor with a virtual bar graph LED here. And we've also connected a eight position dip switch to the Altera, which we're also going to monitor with a virtual bar graph LED. To run Universal Scan, you just drop the three parts on the screen, connect them to a parallel port, and hit Scan. And instantly, you see what every pin on every device in the JTAG chain is doing in real time on your screen. Since these virtual LEDs are connected to the pins of the devices, if we see this seven segment, for example, working on our screen, yet we see the hardware on the board not working, well guess what? We know the Xilinx is doing what it's supposed to be doing, and we must have a hardware problem that we have to go debug. Well, on the other hand, if we saw this virtual seven segment display not working, well then we know we got a problem with our Xilinx that we need to go debug. This is the great thing about boundary scan. It puts you right between the firmware and the hardware and lets you figure out where you need to go focus your efforts. Note that Universal Scan also works on parts that are not programmed yet. For example, this Altera down here is blank, yet all I have to do is reach over to the board, flip a few dip switches, and instantly I can see that I have continuity to the pins on the device because these LED segments are lighting up. Again, this is a trivial example with these little PLDs, but if you had a BGA sitting here, imagine how important that would be to your customers to be able to see if they have continuity from, say, a dip switch or any other device under that BGA. So far, we've done all of this in sample preload mode. That means we can see what every pin on every part in the chain is doing without affecting any of the circuitry's operation. If I come over here and right-click on the Xilinx device and drop it into X-Test, click past the usual warnings, look what happens. The virtual LED connected to the Xilinx stopped functioning. All the pins on the Xilinx are now disconnected from the internal logic. I can now use a virtual thumb wheel switch, for example, to manually drive those seven segments on that display and check it out. There's also a 4-bit bus going between these three devices, so I've connected LEDs to the input buffers of those three devices, and I've connected some toggle switches to the tri-state enables and the output buffers of the Xilinx. To do a quick and dirty test of this bus, I just enable the tri-states, which they are here, and then toggle these output buffers, and I can see that I definitely have continuity all the way across my 4-bit bus. Very quick, very simple. X-Test also works on devices that aren't programmed. Let me drop this Xilinx back into sample preload. Let's drop the Lattice into X-Test now so we can drive its pins. And now we can test the connections between the Lattice and those eight discrete LEDs on the board. In this example, I've connected some dip switches to drive the tri-state enables and the output enables. I simply enable these tri-states and now I can manually drive the output buffers on this part to check the continuity from the part to the LEDs on the board. And sure enough, if I look over on the board, I see it tracking one for one with what this virtual LED here is doing. Again, remember, this virtual LED tells me what the pin is doing. If I see it working, but I don't see the hardware working, I know I have a hardware problem outside of my device. Note that I could also have placed some of these toggle switches on the lattice device output buffers or the Altera device output buffers and driven the bus from any of those nodes on the net. Again, on this simple PLD example, we could have done all of this with a handheld multimeter. But imagine your customer's reaction when he finds out he can finally do continuity tests out from under BGAs. Universal Scan doesn't care what kind of package you have here, it'll work just fine. So in summary, Universal Scan is incredibly easy to use. You just drop the three parts on the screen, connect the parallel port, and hit scan. Instantly you see what every pin on every device in the JTAG chain is doing, and you can manually drive any of those pins to do simple continuity testing. You can now help your customers figure out if the oscillator is connected under the BGA, if the Xilinx mode bits are set correctly under that BGA package, or if the address bus is toggling, etc., etc. All at a glance, and all without any of the traditional arduous, expensive test development.